what's up guys it has been a long time since i made a video i don't know a month two months something like that and uh, i figured i need to get out here and make another video to show you guys what's going on with the truck <sighs> i'm tired i've been working all day it's hot uh i took the wrap off the truck i bought a new wrap for the truck i installed the new wrap for the truck on two panels no sorry I installed the new wrap for the truck <clears throat> yeah on two panels no on the fin on the front fender and then I was kind of unhappy with it and I peeled it off and then I talking to my wife she convinced me to try again so we wrapped the back bumper sorry we wrapped the tailgate and the back fender I just still wasn't happy with it so I peeled it off and now I'm scrapping that idea and I have no clue what I'm gonna wrap my truck next so I'll show you the truck now that the wraps off it actually looks really clean Except for the fact that it's dirty. Now, don't mind the fact that it's completely filthy, but wrap is off. Murdered out, completely black. I haven't, let's see here. Yeah, it's unlocked. I haven't pulled the interior wrap off yet. I just, I don't know, I'm lazy. I'll get around to it eventually. I just haven't yet. So, but. So I kind of put the wrap on a back burner for now. I'm, I'm just not sure what I want to do. My wife thinks I need to keep going crazier than I have. And I just don't know if that's what I want to do. I think I'm just going to go with a color that I like. Something real simple, original, um, different, but not just like outlandish out there. That was kind of what I tried with the last wrap. And I'll show you guys the actual wrap that I got right here. So this is Tech Wraps Neo Chrome. And there's some people that... Uh, it's funny because right when I right when I bought the wrap and I was waiting for it to come in, somebody tagged me in a video of a Silverado that's been wrapped in the Tech Wrap Neo Chrome, but it was like the green and orange Neo Chrome. It wasn't the turquoise and blue, or I forget what they call this, but it's like blue and pink. Uh, so I was like, great, somebody's already done it, but at least it was a little different. So the plan was to wrap the truck in this. It's insane. Like so, there's like this clear protective film on it now let me peel that off there you go so the finish is a little better you can see this wrap is wild like it's so many different colors and shades and sheens and it's really cool the problem with it is it's trash material uh it's i mean I, i'm not saying tech wrap is trash but this is trash it is it doesn't i mean it's chrome so obviously it's there's some hardship with that but it's not cast it's calendared uh it doesn't stretch very well it doesn't uh return back to its shape it doesn't have very good memory so when you if you get any sort of wrinkle or any sort of blemish when you're putting it on the blemish is there there's not much pulling it out uh, and then on top of that, it randomly has bubbles that you can't get out. So the air release technology is garbage in this film. So I've got a whole roll of this that I have no clue what to do with. I'll probably end up throwing it away. No, I won't throw it away. I'll probably keep it, but it'll be for something like stickers or just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'm not putting it on my truck. So I have no clue what I'm going to do on my truck. So perfect opportunity. If you guys want to tell me what you think I should put on my truck, comment below with the color scheme, pattern, whatever. I'm open to suggestions because I absolutely have no clue. I've racked my brain. I've stared at the color books. I've went online and looked up other things to try to get some inspiration. Just can't figure it out. And to be honest, she looks really good black. But I will not, I will not leave the truck black because it's just a nightmare to keep clean and I don't feel like washing it every day. And with a wrap, any sort of brighter color than black, I can leave it for a week without washing it and it still looks good. Maybe just clean the rims a little bit. So yeah, comment below, tell me what you think. In the meantime, we've got another project with the Silverado that we're starting and it starts right here. Well, not starting, kind of continuing. We, we built the box for this and I'm scrapping the box, throwing it away. But I've got this sub. Oh, look at all that dust all over it. That's how long it's just been sitting. So I've got this sub. It's a scar. 
IV8 maybe IX8D2 so it's a dual 2 ohm sub 8 inch uh, they're like $30 really cheap subwoofer um, I've had good luck with SCAR in the past so I'm going to try these out I bought one thinking I'm going to put it in a box and then I was like you know what I'm going to do a box under each side of the seat so I bought another one and so now I have two of them well the other day I bought two more <laughs> So now we're gonna do four eights under the back seat of the Silverado. And I'm gonna do, there's a, I think it's a company called Sub Thump that makes a box for these trucks. And it's like a four eight ported box. And it goes right here under the seat, sits flush. And then basically it's just two eights, a port in the middle, and then two more eights. Well, I went to buy one of those because why well, build it? Close the door. I went to buy one of those just because I don't really have time to build it. Um, it's like $300 for the box, which it's a little expensive, but it's a good quality box. And again, it's the new truck. There's not a lot of options out there. So it was one of the only ones I could find for four eights ported. You can get sealed and junk like that, but I want a ported box so I can kind of tune it. Um, anyway, so they are four to five weeks from the moment you order to get a tracking number. And I'm pretty impatient. I can't wait four to five weeks. Four to five weeks from now, I might not even have that truck. Maybe. I probably will. But still, that's that's how impatient I am. Four to five weeks, who knows what's going on. So I'm not going to wait that long for a subwoofer box. So that's our project. We are going to build a subwoofer box. I also bought an amp for these. It's a 1500 watt RMS amp. So 1500 watt RMS, so that is 750 for two subs so divide that in half again so that's 375 maybe yeah 375 so 375 watts per sub and these subs are rated at right around 300 watts we'll keep the gains down low so we don't uh smoke them just to kind of tune it and see how it does plus you know i'm not running extra battery voltage is probably not going to be ideal so i doubt the amp will put out a true 1500 watts rms even though it's rated at 1500 rms so that's the plan. So I guess next thing's next. We're gonna, the subs come in this weekend. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the amp. And so we'll get the amp wired up and then we'll start building the box for this thing. So let's get after it. All right, so Saturday morning, we are headed to the warehouse. We've got to drop off. We got to do a few things before we can work on the sub box. Got to drop the truck off and pick up the work truck because we are taking it to a work day at the church. I forgot to give you a cold start, All right? So the least I can do. Never gets old, never gets old. So I may or may not have forgotten to mention that I rented a warehouse. It's plenty big too. So this is, uh, this is kind of where I run my business out of. And uh, I've been doing it out of my house for a long time. Hang on a second. Had to set everything down. I've been running out of my house for a long time and I was just getting low on space and didn't have any re uh, really good place to put my office and stuff like that. So I rented this space and it's gonna kind of serve two purposes because I can keep my truck here and, uh, well, I'm not gonna keep my truck here, but I can do wraps here and stuff like that. Check this out. This is that material I told you about. I got a whole roll of it. Whole entire roll. No clue what to do with it. No, I'm not giving it away. Uh, yeah, and I also got a work truck. I don't know if you've, well, I guess you saw that in like the last video. Got a work truck, got it fully outfitted, tinted the windows. Those are the wheels off of my 2019. Of course they fit perfect. Okay, so we are back at home. Got the truck back here. Got my wood, and as you can see, I'm already starting building. I've got the base plate laid out. It's gonna go on my floor, and then I'm starting to build from the back up. And then I'll build the face with the subs, and then I'm gonna probably do a port right in the middle, or I'll do two ports on either side. I'm not sure, probably a port in the middle, because I think that'll be easier to tune. What I'll do is I'll just cut my hole, and then I can set inserts in there to change the tuning of it as I want. So. That's probably what we'll end up doing, but for now we're gonna start gluing it all together and getting it built. All right, we're about an hour in. Let's see what we got so far. It's coming along. 
I've got the front wall built. One, two, three, four. And I've just got it sitting in here right now. You can see I got the back of the sub box built too. Probably could have made that a little longer, but when I measured, I, I found some extra room, so I had to scoot it forward as opposed to scrapping this piece and starting over. So basically we lost just a little bit of cubic feet, but nothing too bad. All right, we pretty much got the box done. We just have to put the top on it. Got the port painted, completely built. And uh, the top painted, where the top piece is gonna go on, that way I don't have to try to paint the inside of it. And once I'm done with all this, I'll sand the whole thing down, router these edges, retouch up, and then I will carpet the whole box, put the speakers in it, and get wiring the amp. We're getting close. All right, we are in day number three. We've got some more stuff done. Check it out. Almost complete. Two more speakers to put in, got the whole thing carpeted. Now we just gotta slap it in the truck. And then I've got my other two speakers here. I've got my SCAR RP 1500.1D amp, uh, monoblock, 1500 watt. And then I've got my, what is this? OFC um, four gauge install kit. Look at this, it is about to storm. Oh no, is it raining right now? Dang it. Well, I might not be doing anything. Look at that. Ooh. Dang. Some wind rolling in here. Yeah, it's windy. Gonna blow some trees over. Imagine if you were a squirrel or a bird. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> clinging <laughs> on for dear life. Two subs, two more in the box, amp wiring kit, amp. I think the first thing we're gonna do is just pre wire all the subs and go ahead and get them mounted to the box. That way we can get this in the truck. And then once we're done with that, the only thing left is to mount the amplifier, which I'm gonna put, it, it barely fits. I'm gonna put it under the passenger front seat. And we've got this base knob. I still haven't figured out where I wanna put this yet. Uh, I'm debating taking this apart and actually mounting it um, kind of a little more hidden to where it's not just like bolted. It, all you'll see is the knob. I'm not sure yet on that. And then the wire for that, and then we'll be jamming. Maybe eventually it'll stop raining and I can uh, put this box in the truck. Scar sticker, we'll have to add that to my wall. I think I already had one over there. Give you guys a little fun fact. You see this here? Not all speakers, but in this particular speaker, this ring is the correct size for the cutout. So I just broke these two pieces of cardboard apart, took this ring, laid it down, drew my circle, worked out test this before but on this particular speaker it is the right size for your cutout pretty cool little speaker this is not by any means the most powerful speaker they make it's actually the least powerful um, but still for an 8 inch sub I think it's going to do pretty fine and we're gonna put a lot of power to it, but we're gonna keep the gains low and just check on the subs, make sure we don't overheat them. And uh, it should sound pretty good. Speaker box is in, you can see the seats are down. It fits perfect. Four SCAR audio subs, these are dual, two ohm each. 
So I've got them wired series parallel, which brings each speaker from two ohm up to four ohm, and then all four speakers back down to one ohm. And on the back of the box here, it's hard to see, but I've got screw terminals back here where I'm gonna hook my wiring to and pull it across. And then the amp's actually gonna go under the front passenger seat. So first things first, we're gonna get the power wire, the four gauge power wire, and start pulling it from the engine bay back to the back of the truck. So it's super easy on these new trucks. They actually give you a port. It's kind of hard to see way down in there. They give you a port up against the firewall, like a spare port. There it is, to pull a wire through. That's what we did. Mounted the fuse box on the battery cover. And then we've got it in here now. And it just comes in somewhere up in there. And we tucked it behind the kick panel. Got it out right here. And now we're feeding it through the channel. The other nice thing they do on older trucks, the thing I hated most was when you have big gauge wire and you're trying to put these covers back down, they always like, they wouldn't snap down all the way because the wire in there. Well, now you've got these fancy wire channels for you to actually pull wire across and under everything. Pretty cool. Okay, the wiring's pretty much done. I've just got to figure out where to hook up the remote wire. I've got all the other wires. Let's see if I can lift this out and show you. I've got all the other wires run through here. And then you can see my ground. That's actually a through bolt with a nut. Ground all the paint off and then sandwiched it down. You can probably see on the underside there. See the bolt. And then in the back here, all my wires coming out under my seat. I've just got to terminate them. First things first, I need a high-low converter. I tapped into my speaker wires right here and then ran them out. And uh, I've got to convert that signal into RCAs because that's all my amp will take. So we're headed to the store right now to get some RCA high-low converter or just one. And then we'll finish this thing up. All right, we're back from the store. I've got only a few things left to do. I just finished wiring the remote wire. And I actually had to pull it all the way up to a fuse block here. And there's a fuse in here, number 40 in my truck. And it's 10 amp and it says uh, miscellaneous ignition. And I tested it with a meter and it has 12 volts when the truck's on and nothing when the truck is off. So we're good there. The only thing left to do, uh, the last thing that I will do is connect from the other side of this fuse block down and under into my positive terminal of my battery. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start wiring up the actual amplifier and mounting it under the seat there and if you look i mean it is close but there is just enough room to mount this thing so we're gonna do that now okay we are completely done installing the stereo show what we got haven't mounted this yet i'm not sure where i want to put it but probably somewhere in the console just gotta figure that out the amp I've got temporary put in until I get the gain set. I've got to adjust everything and then I'll tuck it back in there. Once it's in there, it's kind of hard to get to all these settings on the side, so I'm just leaving it out. Speaker boxes are done. You can see I've got the screw terminals there, wired to that and then over to the other side. Parallel, sorry, series parallel down to one ohm here. And uh, pretty pumped. About to turn it on. Oh, if I can get that back. About to turn it on and see how it sounds. I tried so hard. 